everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. I um, hope you can hear okay today. I've got the air conditioning on because it is very, very hot now in China. But I think I've put it on silent. But as you can see, that's my remote control. And uh, it's, it's all in Chinese. So I know some of the basics, but I think I've got it on silent. So if there is a bit of a sound in the background, that's what it is. But... Just one of the little challenges of living in a foreign country. Anyway, moving on, this is project number five. And this is my, not really sure what to call it, um, box, memory box card maybe? I'm not too sure. But basically, so I've done two and then I've obviously got the one I'm going to show you today. But it's in just a nice little flush box and as you open it, it brings out this. Now I've seen ones that have been done where you lift the lid off and then you have a little tab that you pull and you lift it up. But I thought, wouldn't it be nice to do something that's joined by both ends and then you can sit it up on the mantelpiece or on the you know, side table wherever people you know, want to put their cards and they can actually appreciate it and see it like they would a normal card. So I've kind of gone a bit crazy with this one. So I've used the black just because I've got this stamping up um, old DSP um, and I don't really have these colours that match that well apart from the black so that's why if you ever do watch a lot of my videos and I use this DSP I always tend to use a black um, but some nice little fun elements I've used my, my you know this um, uh, die that I've used a lot unbranded one I've just again done what I've been doing a lot with it and that's die cut it three times and stick it on top Gives it a nice 3D bit of dimension there. I've got some balloons. I do need to add some string there, I think. I'm not sure whether to put stuff in these outer ones still. So I um, thought that was quite nice with just the bulldog clip, party time. You could put a little envelope with a little message in it. But if you do want to put a sentiment and write your message, you can always do it on the back. So that was that one there. And then it just all folds nicely up into the box. And then the princess one here. This one was my first one I'd done. And I'd done it a little bit tight. As you can see there, it just still works, but it, I thought if I'm giving it to a little girl, she might get in a bit of a mess with it. Um, and I put the tab on, tag on the wrong way. Um, it should be that way. And then there's this one here. It's really fun. I think what I'm going to do is take out this and just redo the box um, because I love this. And I use my Winker Stella. And it's really sparkly. Coloured it in with my um, Pro Markers. And um, yeah, I really like that one. So I think that's really sweet. But I think I need to make the box just a little bit bigger and the front needs to all be the right way and also be a bit more sparkly and girly. So, but this is what we're gonna make. So you are going to need, let me grab my, oh, hold on, I left my scoreboard on the other side. Let me grab it. <clears throat> okay, so. Today you will need, and where is my, I have to use this one today, um, right, so you need two pieces of um, seven and three quarters by seven and three quarter card, and this is for your box, so your lid and your base, so seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters, you then need, this is for your actual concertina, like um, storyboard, so these measure, one of them is ten and a half by three and a half, and the other one is 11 by three and a half. Okay, and then you need all your bits and pieces to decorate. So I've already gone ahead and done all of these bits because these are the bits that take some time and they're really personalised. So um, that's my one for the lid. Um, and all I've done there is made a bow, which I'll show you the really straightforward, easy bows. I'm going to put something on top of that. Just die cut some of the circle framelits, um, put a nice little sentiment, and then just use the corresponding colours. Um, the papers I've used here are from um, Craft Sensations. You can buy them at the range in the UK. This was 99p for a pack, so I bought quite a few. You get three of each design, and there are 30, no 10 designs, and you get three of each design. Um, some of them are plain, and you've got the butterflies there. I've used that one before in an old project. Good one there with the birds. So there's lots, and that's the one obviously I've used. Nice pretty one there as well. Um, and they do, there's tons in the in the collection. I think there's about maybe five or six packs of different um, you know, uh, designs. So for 99p, they're bargain. They're not double-sided, but they're perfect for, for things like this. Um, so you are going to need, let me just line mine out so I knew roughly how I had them. 
think it was like something like that. So you need six pieces, so the orange card, um, six pieces of those are three and a quarter, just check it is the right one, yeah, three and a quarter square. So obviously choose whatever colour theme you're going to do and um, that's the size you So the you'll papers need. on and top, the mounted piece, they are three by three, so this flower paper that I've got. And then basically just go to town and decorate how you want to. I've used um, diff all different things. I've got the little peg there and I've just put a little birthday cake sentiment. Um, a nice sentiment there. It's all about you. Then the happy birthday one. And I've just die cut that with um, an unbranded um, frame die. This one I really like. This is a die from um, X Cuts by Do Crafts. Um, and I've just cut the butterfly three times. And then I've just mounted it on top of each other by just sticking the middle and then you can just kind of lift it up now I know this will be kind of sandwiched or like as it, you know because it's in a concertina it's all going to come together but it will still you know keep some of that shape um, but I thought it was perfect with the with the uh, pretty um, background uh, there so that was that one and again I've got those two then on the outside which I can obviously personalize if I want to um, and then you can put your message on the back the top card again um, so it will be uh, this one, what did I do? Yeah, three and a quarter square. Um, and then I just used some of the scraps and made the, these extra pieces. But I'll, I'll show you the bow in a minute. Um, so that is everything you need. So I've gone ahead and done all this. I'll show you now how to assemble it all. And then the time consuming bit is how you want to decorate it really. So it's a really, really straightforward and an easy box. Um, card to do because the the box itself is just a reinforced box and then um, a little bit of scoring on those um, the storyboard bit okay so grab one of your seven and three quarter square pieces of paper and I've already done one of them so what you want to do let me just find that okay so for the lid because it sits on top and you want that really nice um, smooth kind of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for closure um, what you need to do is pop your card in and then pull it out slightly so that you're revealing the base there of the scoreboard so you're kind of just almost coming in line with that first notch but not quite okay once you've done that you want to score at one inch and two inches push the card then flush back in again and then score at five and three quarters and six and three quarters then rotate the card round and again pull it out to the same as what you did before so you're revealing that bottom bit of your scoreboard and again you want to score at one inch and two inch push it back in and then score at five and three quarters and six and three quarters okay so that's what you want to do for the lid for the base the scoring is exactly the same as what I've done but you don't pull the card in and out at all so as an example just pop your card in for the second piece so this is the base and you're just going to score at one two and then it's five and three quarters and six and three quarters and you just want to do that on all four sides so basically one of them which will be the lid will have a slightly bigger inside square here and the base will be slightly smaller okay so that's those two I've already put together my base that's why I showed you it all on that one sheet then grab your two um, storyboard pieces I'll call them for the sake of the video um, so I've got my 11 inch one first so all you want to do here is along the 11 inch sides you're just going to score at three and a half seven and ten and a half so you've got a half inch tab there and then on your ten and a half inch one you're going to score at three and a half and at seven okay and that is everything so that is all the scoring oh, that one doesn't go in there get rid of that and then what we can do now is put together our box so i've already done the yeah, so I just put a little marker on the back there. So that was the base I'd done. So now I've got the lid. So what you want to do now is burnish out your sides. Um, I think I left a load of stuff. I've got a couple of other projects going on on my other desk. So I think I've left them there. That's fine. I'll just use my fingers. So you just want to burnish out all of these score lines. Like so. And then grab it so 
scissors. And as I do all of the reinforced boxes, so pick a side, it doesn't matter which one. And first of all, you've got your um, score lines, two, first two score lines here. Just cut down the first one all the way down, past that first score line and down to that second one, like so. And then cut that out and then put a little notch there on that corner. And then this one, you're just going to again cut all the way down to that same second score line, cut that square completely out and then notch these two. Ooh, yeah, like so. And we're going to do that, so mirror that exactly the same on the other side. So down that one, all the way down that one, cut that one out and then just notch off all of these sides and then that one there. So that is one of the ends. Okay. Then rotate it all the way around and do exactly the same again. So cut all the way down past that first set, the score line, down to the second one. And then like so. And cut that out. those little tabs and that one there. I think I can take a little bit more off of that one. Okay, and then again. <coughs> Excuse me. is what you want to have at this point. Okay, so grab some, I'm using my double-sided um, tear tape here. Um, <coughs> excuse me, you can use Tombow fuse. Um, fuse. If you're using the fuse, do it bit by bit, don't do it all at the same time. Um, so first of all, you want to add tape along the outer so flip it over, this is the inside, and you're going to put your tape along, hogging the outer part of these longer tabs. I stuck a couple down wrong just now, so I had to peel them off carefully. Um, I was too busy looking outside. It's a beautiful day today. Clear blue skies, which surprise a lot of people living in China. They think it's just grey and horrible, but it's not. We live... Um, South, just a little bit south of Shanghai, about an hour out from Shanghai, and um, we're right on the coast, so near to like in between Japan and Taiwan, and um, a lot of our pollution gets blown straight over. So we're very fortunate. So we have a lot of a lot of lovely days, which surprise people. Um, okay, so first of all, with the, the smaller tabs, just take all of those off. So. so if you're using the fuse, this is when you want to do, why you want to do it bit by bit. And then you're just going to bring it in like so. Okay. And then with these pieces here, just peel, 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 peel the inside and then fold them down and again try and get this one off you just want to do this on all the four sides and this is just reinforcing the box making it nice and strong the lid now before we put that on top because you don't want it to get stuck although you can obviously peel it off but what you want to do is choose any two opposite sides and this if you've got a circle punch this would be perfect now to line over and um, circle punch a half circle now mine is broke so the other alternative is what I've done is you just cut 
a little triangle out on each side, as you can see there. And then that gives you that space to be able to put your fingers in the bottom one there and pull the lid off. So do you need to be neat with this and obviously be patient? So I'm going to choose this one here. So I just eyeball it, obviously get your ruler and, and measure it all properly if you want to make sure that that's what you want to have. And again... Just two little triangles there. Okay, maybe I should have said before you cut the triangles out, just grab your bone folder and just really burnish all of those corners. You make sure this way as well that you've got all your, your glues kind of um, stuck down. It just gives it a really nice sharp finish as well. Just be careful going over that bit there. Like so. And then you should just be able to neatly, there we go, and you get a nice flush bottom there of your box. And it just peels off. Okay, so now you've got, obviously, that's the way that you open the box. Um, like so. So you want that to be how it then kind of opens out. So you want to keep, I mean that doesn't really matter, but you want to make sure your triangles are obviously on that side and not up like that because that's not how you're naturally going to open it. So pop that to one side. I'm going to keep them upright so I know where I am. So grab your two here and you want to pop some tape. So I've got the, um, the one with the tab on my left hand side. I'm just going to pop a run of tape down there. Like so. Okay, I'll do this one. Okay. And just neatly line up, making sure that you've got a nice top and bottom. All nice and flush. And then, so this is the one that's going to be stuck in this side of the box here and so you basically want to fold that one down never done it right no keep it up sorry yeah so fold that down and then you just want to concertina them together like so so you'll have that one which will stick in the lid there and then that one which will stick in the lid there and then when it opens out that's your story. So now you can decorate it all. So I've got all my pieces here, which I've already put the tape on the bottoms of. So I'm going to start with my outer one. So I'm just going to go through and stick all these down. Obviously you can um, decorate this however you want. Really go to town with it. You can, like I said, I've got 3D elements on it because you've got that much depth in the box. So you can't go crazy, but you can certainly give it some nice nice dimension and something to, to look at. So just pop these in, giving yourself a nice even border. So there you have a really nice, cute little storyboard. So as it opens out, and that's what they're going to see. I, th I think it's lovely. Really, 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 really pretty. So this is the lid. And I've got this piece here. So I need to put some tape on the bottom of that, and then I'll quickly show you how to make that very easy bow which I'm now squashing. I should have stuck this on before but it's fine. Okay so let me grab my scrap drawer and I will use just use this piece for the sake of the video. So what you want to do is Okay, so that's your piece of paper that you have. So you want a rectangle. You can, once I start cutting it and do it, then you'll realise you can have any size you want. So I'm doing this just for this size. Fold it in half, like so. And then along the side that you've just folded, you can draw it first if you would rather. I'm just going to do this freehand. So I'm just going to do, I'll go quite big and then 
like so. And then you want to try and mimic, mirror that basically on the other side, but you don't want to, you want to cut so that you're giving yourself, like I've given myself there about a quarter of an inch. Um, between the first cut and the bottom, okay? And then you open it up and you have like a moustache. Then bring in one side to the middle and bring in the other side to the middle and there's your bow. So you just want to glue those edges down into that middle bit there and then you can use corresponding colour or you can use the same colour and you just basically just cut like a little thin strip and then you would wrap that around like so and glue it as well and there is your bow you can roughly see what I've done there because obviously I haven't glued any of it in that's your bow so really really straightforward so again you can do this really really big if you've got a large A4 and you fold that in half and then cut all the way up you could have a massive bow and decorate your craft room and stuff but these are perfect in fact it's pretty much the same size as what I did before um, so there you go really easy to do um, so now we just need to stick these in. So I've already put glue on this side. Ah, oh, put it on the wrong side. <laughs> I had that all ready and I should have stuck that end in there and not that end. So I'm going to put my sentiment on that on the back. So that's fine. Um, so I need to just put some glue on the back of this one. Some tape, sorry. See, sometimes being all organised for these videos doesn't work because you forget you've done it. Right. So, do my lid first, check that this was all the right way. Oh, I've also, that should be on the lid, not the base. Actually, I quite like that, like that. I think that looks quite nice. So you, you should have put it on that piece, but I actually quite like the way that that kind of works. So there you go, it's entirely up to you, you can put it on obviously that is the lid, but I actually quite like, I like that it's a bit different to the others, and it will sit like that, and you pull it out that way, yeah, no I like that, okay, right, so get the right end here, <coughs> excuse me, I need a drink, okay, and then you want to, so it'll be opening that way. So you want to lie this one inside. And you want to hog, so that's your lid, okay. You want to hog the bottom that this is going into, like so. And then give yourself an even border, top and bottom. And then just lie it in flat. Like so that will all fall into there nicely and then, and then again so you want to hug the bottom the opposite of the where the little notches are that you've done like so and then again just flatten that in and there you have it really nice little card little card it's not a little card is it um I think it's really, really pretty to look at. I mean, it's hard for you to see, but obviously that's how it will look when it's on your shelf. And I think that's really, really lovely. Like I said, I like them plain. I don't know whether I'll keep them plain or not. Um, obviously, I will put a little note up to say that this is the lid. So this will be on this side. Um, but I actually quite like that mine is that way. I don't know. I think it looks quite cool. So if you want to do it that way, you can as well. And then it just opens up this lovely card yeah I'm pleased with that so there you go hope you like this one um, there are all the other ones that I've done yeah no I do I like it upside down I really like it that way so there you go if you want to do it that way do it that way um, if you liked this one thumbs up and if you want to subscribe please do um, and I've got series to come and um, if you subscribe, you'll get to see lots more things. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again. Bye.